pain on the left side. And now After weeks of suffering right pain, side. Chuck Priggy um, is deciding yeah, whether to have back to surgery, you. and he's making his decision online. His hospital, Dartmouth Hitchcock in New Hampshire, puts surgery results on the internet. So right here, Chuck can see that 62% of Dartmouth's back surgery patients achieve symptom relief. 85% would choose surgery again. I think it's great to have all this information available. It's only a matter of time now before most American hospitals post a lot more information about quality. What does surgery cost? How often does it work? Are the doctors at the hospital good at what they do? Starting tomorrow, Medicare will post a web report card on the nation's hospitals, listing on Medicare.gov hospital death rates for heart attacks and heart failure. At least 20 state websites post similar figures, all with the idea of exposing substandard hospitals. You post data for a lot of reasons, one of which is to hold people accountable for their results. At Dartmouth, hundreds of results are already online. Patients fill out laptop surveys, and when a procedure does not work as often as it should, the patients know, and so do doctors. Has this changed the way you practice medicine? Yes, it has. Dr. William Abdu says the information has led to fewer back surgeries. Because we're basing our decisions on patient preference, not on surgeon preference. The patients are educated about their options and their outcomes based on those options. Chuck Priggy is leaning in favor of surgery because of what he learned online. I think it's an honest way to go to be able to, to tell, you know, tell what experiences people have had. That 62% tells him not everyone gets perfect results, but thanks to this information revolution, he knows the odds. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Lebanon, New Hampshire.